Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me. The sound is now officially on and we're officially going to get started. So before we dive into our topic today and even before I introduce myself, I first want to do a quick little sound check and make sure that you guys can hear me, which I see someone has already replied. So thank you for that. Um, second of all, at the end of the webinar today, we will be doing a Q&A. I notice that a lot of you are using the chat function right now. I will ask if you use the Q&A function to list your questions. Uh, that way we can guarantee that we get to them all. Also, as a presenter, uh, the chat function in Zoom is actually a little bit uncomfortable to use. So list all your questions in the Q&A. Uh, you'll see that in your menu bar and we'll be able to go and answer all of those. Okay, great. So uh, also for those of you guys that are joining from streaming, uh, thanks for joining. If you do want to uh, chime in on the Q&A, we do still have a little bit of space in this webinar. So click on the link that's uh, provided, sign up and join the webinar. That way you'll be able to do the Q&A. Otherwise, you're just watching the stream and I hope that you enjoy it. So. You're here today for UVC and U applications and best practices for your facilities. If you're here for another webinar, um, then I hope you enjoy this one instead. Um, this is not going to be a webinar on, uh, on a different topic and I should have came up with a better joke to get started. Uh, so let's just go in right off the bat uh, with some of the more serious informative stuff. So my name is Dan. I'm not a comedian by training. I am an electrical engineer by training. I have a bachelor's of science from Rutgers University, and I am the co-founder and president here at Pure Lighting Company. Uh, one of the branches of Pure Lighting Company, Pure UVC, we are a design deal um, and manufacturer of UVC products and solutions. I'm a professional member at the IUVA uh, and there am part of the COVID-19 task force. So we've been involved with UVC for, uh, for some time now since the beginning of the pandemic and we're very honored um, and excited to be part of the solution here of creating smarter facilities, better facilities and safer facilities going forward. Great. So about Pure UVC, we are a startup. We started uh, right at the beginning of the uh, pandemic and we started pretty much to provide solutions. So uh, myself and my co-founder, Mike, we have over 30 years of lighting experience and we want to provide uh, solutions to facilities using UVC light and combining it with high end lighting controls that you're going to see in uh, LED lighting systems. UVC before the pandemic was a very, very niche uh, type of uh, solution, and we're trying to bring it into a wider base so we can have facility-wide safe solutions. Our manufacturing is American-based. We have manufacturing in Georgia, Texas, and California, and we have partners across the U.S. I know that we have many of our partners on the webinar right now, so those of you who have not gotten a chance to meet yet in person, it's great to have you and looking forward to a chance to saying hi uh, in the near future. So UVC disinfection, this is something that at this point of the pandemic, uh, you're probably pretty familiar with. It's also one of the reasons why you're on the webinar in the first place. UVC is a type of light. It's part of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum and it falls in the ultraviolet spectrum. It's between the 180 and 280 nanometer range. And in this range, the light can penetrate directly into the DNA and into the RNA of the pathogen. And it essentially scrambles up the information there. It binds together certain types of uh, these uh, DNA particles and glues the DNA, glues the RNA together so it can't replicate. Can't replicate, can't infect. It's that simple. And what's beautiful about uh, UVC as a solution is that it's germicidal, it's antiviral, and it's sporicidal. What that means is that it's going to be effective now against COVID-19, but it's also going to hold effective against flus, colds. If there's a COVID-2022 knocking on wood right there, that we avoid that, and whatever is next. So 
uh, something that I've always been taught is that when there is a, uh, let's say, catastrophe or there's a problem or there's some sort of issue, it's to see that and find the silver lining, find the growing opportunity from that. And one of the ways that our facilities can improve from the COVID-19 pandemic is understanding the need for these system-wide, these facility-wide disinfection protocols. And UVC is going to be something that's um, not only proven against SARS-CoV-2, as we see from different research, not only going to be very flexible uh, for our facilities, whether it's direct UVC, whether it's bringing this into our HVAC systems, however it is, but it's going to have a slew of benefits with it. So you have the backing of science as we went through before, some of these different research showing the efficacy of UVC against SARS-CoV-2. It's flexible. So you have one system that you put into your facility now that's going to be effective against this pandemic, against future pathogens. Simply adjusting a little bit of the dosage time to make sure that you're treating on something that's more difficult, making sure that you're keeping your facility safe in the flu outbreak against the cold, even against the mold spores and allergen causing um, uh, pathogens. This, of course, effective engineered solution. Another thing that we have here is automation. One of the major things that we've heard, we work a lot with schools and with the pandemic is that a lot of the facilities team members are the ones that are on the front line. If there's an outbreak, they're the ones that are thrown into the space to go and purify. Now you're making that as that plays into a risk for that facility member. That's not fair, that's not right, and we want to keep those people that are important in our company safe. So an automated system is going to allow a disinfection, keeping our staff safe. It's also going to allow a disinfection late at night when no one's in the, no one's in the facility. It's going to allow a disinfection so that those staff members can focus on their other tasks. It allows more of, uh, let's say, more of a punch and more impact than a manual alternative. Budget conscious, everything is safe. We'll talk a little bit about safety in a moment. Um, and then, as I mentioned to you, future ready. As the pandemic is starting to slowly wind down, as the vaccinations are coming out, as we're getting a better idea of controlling this, we want to make sure that the systems that we put in are going to prevent those future epidemics. And so that's one of the major things that we're looking at with the systems nowadays is, yes, how do we curb COVID-19, but how do we make sure that we are the cause for an outbreak in the future, that we're keeping our people safe? So one of the other things that we personally like about uh, UVC lighting is that we're able to reduce the use of harsh chemical cleaners and disinfectants. Now, since the onset of the pandemic, the CDC and the HHS have shown that there has been a massive uptick in calls to poison control centers. And the major reasons why are those chemical cleaners and disinfectants that people are using to prevent um, and to clean against these pathogens. What, what's more is that it's not actually ingestion of those chemicals it's the fumes. So when you go and you clean a space, there is that smell and that smell, those fumes, that residue it has a toxicity. It's been seen that children, um, especially at the age of five and younger, but still, you know, between five and 10 um, are at the most risk for this. It's also been seen that people that use those harsh chemical cleaners day in, day out are having the same risk of lung cancer as someone that smokes one pack of cigarettes a day. So using less chemicals is going to make sure that our facilities are safer for, again, staff and for our occupants. We want to make sure that whatever solution we're putting in has exponential more benefit than harm. And that's one of the things that we can do with UVC. And I'll be uh, amiss to say UVC, of course, there are a few, uh, let's say, health issues that we need to look in. The main thing with UVC is that we want to avoid long-term direct exposure. And that's one of the things that we are very conscious with with all of our systems. We'll be talking as we go in about different types of solutions. That's a main idea with this webinar and how we can go make sure that it's going to, again, have that exponential good and reduce the harm 
to nearly nil. That's a risk of harm. Okay, something else we'll be talking about, and I want to get through this um, uh, you know, phrase right now and this terminology right now is our IntelliSafe controls. All of our whole room systems come innate with the IntelliSafe controls. This is our proprietary Bluetooth-based control system. We talk about safety, smart sensors, having zone control, having scheduling options, making sure that you can have your whole room fixtures so they're only on when you want them to be on, when spaces are empty, making sure that no one is ever exposed to UVC light, and God forbid they go into a space where there's a treatment that the lights turn off right away. That's what we're trying to do here with our IntelliSafe controls. That's what we're doing with our system, so it's the best of flexibility and safety. And what that provides you is, with that flexibility, a wide array of different types of applications, which we'll go through. So when I talk about IntelliSafe controls, you know what I'm talking about now. So let's get into some solutions here. So, um, you know, Mike, my co-founder and I will, we like to joke around that since COVID-19 has started, we've spent a lot of time in bathrooms uh, because bathrooms are going to be a major hotspot for the transmission of pathogens. I don't have to get into the gruesome details that go on into bathrooms. We can, we're all adults here. We know what happens there. Uh, so we want to go and make sure that we have a way of disinfecting bathrooms. This is what's called our whole a whole room UVC solution. So whole room UVC solutions are going to be fixed uh, fixtures. As you see right here, we have a two foot linear fixture and that shines direct light into the whole space. That direct light is able to purify the air that the light is touching and all the surfaces that the light is touching. Now also as that light is on for an extended period of time, you have natural air circulation. So you're getting all that air that's under desks, under sinks, whatever it might be. So we have here in bathrooms where what you want to be able to offer is something where you have automated between use disinfection. Someone goes in, UVC lights are off, they do their business, they wash their hands for 20 seconds, you know, with nice warm water, dry off, leave. Bathroom stays empty for five minutes, lights turn on. For COVID-19, for the most part, systems will have to have about a five minute operation. It depends on dosage and dosage is a calculation of light intensity and time. The longer the system is on, the more dosage, the stronger the light is, the more dosage. Uh, we can go more into that if anyone has any questions, but I don't wanna get too into the weeds in this webinar. And so this is something that can be used in bathrooms. We've seen it used in meeting rooms and conference rooms. We've seen it used for elevators as well. So that's a whole room disinfection. Now, the question that usually arises here is, this is really nice, but what if we have a space where we have people like um, in an office or in a classroom where people are occupying that space for six hours and we want to provide some sort of treatment while they're there? That brings us into a hybrid solution. Now this is a uh, fixture that Pure UVC manufactures. Pretty much anything that you see Pure UVC manufacturing, the reason that we manufacture it is that we haven't found anything else like it out there and we're filling a need. If we find a better manufacturer than us, we'll go and let someone else take care of it. Uh, but right now this is a proprietary uh, piece of technology is patent pending. And the idea is that you get the best of both worlds. When people are in a space, you have UVC assisted air purification. And so what this is, is that innate into the fixture, you have a centrifugal fan. And what that does is it uses three layers of disinfection. It draws air in the, uh, in the room in, through it, it filters through a HEPA filter. And HEPA filters have been shown to eliminate already about 99% of pathogens, especially something like COVID-19 that rides on aerosols, you know, big water droplets. It's gonna pull it in, it's gonna trap it in there. Then the remaining air that is still, uh, you know, infected is going to pass through a chamber through high powered, high intensity UVC light. That's going to treat it as well. And then just because we're engineers and we like to be redundant and over the top, it passes through one more time, another HEPA filter to go and purify that air. Now, this is a 60 CFM fan for a 2400 of uh, 
cubic foot area. It's going to allow three air exchanges per hour, and that's what ASHRAE recommends. So we go and uh, try to meet that. So you have that air purification, but then you ask about, okay, surfaces, you know, the surfaces, people are touching, sneezing, whatever on the surfaces. Well, then you have that whole room solution. So when people aren't in the room, let's say it's used for a classroom and you have between periods, let's say it's an office. So you have late at night, you have the whole room solution. So what we talked about with the restrooms before, it's built into this fixture, automated with our IntelliSafe controls to be scheduled either on demand or scheduled, let's say late at night or based on whatever schedule you're looking for. So this is a solution that we've had applications for in offices, classrooms, restaurants, uh, fitness centers, spas, retail, locker rooms, a whole gamut of different types of facilities. Uh, really fantastic one that provides the best of both worlds. Uh, one thing that I should mention too is that with the dosage that we're talking about with UVC light, we are getting 99.99% .99 disinfection. So when we say disinfection, we're not talking about, you know, mitigating a you know decent amount. We're talking about pretty full, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, comprehensive disinfection. Next up. Portable units. Okay, this seems a little low tech after what we we're just talking about. But let's say you have a convention center. Let's say you're a hotel with a ballroom. Let's say you're a school with a gym, an auditorium, and a cafeteria, and these long stretches of hallway. Portable, high-powered UVC fixtures at this point are going to be the economic and most flexible way. We want to go and make sure that light at its highest intensity is being delivered. So when you have a space with very high ceilings, we'll talk about that. If you're trying to recess some fixtures, um, it's going to take a little bit longer to disinfect. And it's also the price is going to start to come up. So you have portable uh, trolley-based disinfection units, high-powered. Uh, this one right here that you're looking at has two lamps. We did some testing and it could treat a large uh, gym in under 20 minutes. And I'm talking about end to end, corner to corner, uh, 20 minutes to get 99.99% uh, .99 disinfection. Motion sensors are built in, uh, computers built in with a preset timer, presets in terms of length of treatment. So again, another solution to keep things easy, minimal training. We want everything to support the team. We want everything to support the facility and to be simple. That's what we have here. Okay, so this is another type of UVC application. And this is something that we haven't really mentioned yet. It's an interesting enough uh, approach. So this is something that's called upper air or upper room GUV. GUV is just germicidal UV. All this is that. I just wanna give the terminology that if you Google it, this is gonna give you the, um, you know, the home run of what you're looking for. This is something that we saw as a very, let's say, historic disinfection protocol. This is something that people use in surgical rooms and in doctor's offices before this pandemic. And the idea is taking UVC light and shining it up at the ceiling. So this way, none of the occupants are going to be exposed to the UVC light because it's shining above their heads. Through the UVC light shining at the ceiling, you have that natural airflow throughout the space and that UVC light is treating that air and allowing it to circulate through. This is a solution that we find very nice for places that you have pretty good foot traffic moving through that have high ceilings. So something like um, if you think about some of those like uh, beautiful corporate offices that you might walk into and you walk in and they have that large expansive space, something like that it'll be good for. It can work well for gyms uh, as well, for cafeterias, for ballrooms, convention centers. This is an air purification um, a technique, but it works for occupied spaces. Uh, those whole room disinfection are not going to be for occupied, just during unoccupied time. So this allows uh, for that type of disinfection. Now, this is this is great. Another approach to the same, I'm actually going to skip that and go back to it. It's this, let me hop around a little bit. This is going to be the other historic UVC approach. Uh, and it's one that really in light of everything that we've been seeing uh, 
should be something that you take uh, a look at, especially if you're doing new construction uh, or renovation, and that's incorporating UVC light into your HVAC system. It's not always gonna be possible just based on the way that your uh, HVAC system is laid out. But what this does is it shines in very, very high powered UV light at that air that's moving through. Now the air that's moving through is moving at a very fast rate. So the light has to be incredibly intense, but that's providing disinfection against pathogens, viruses, bacteria, mold spores. And that's a major concern in HVAC systems that gather a little bit of moisture. Uh, and that's purifying the air that's circulating throughout the facility. So another way of treating the air. Again, we want to go mitigate the risk and as many different steps that we take of diminishing the amount of pathogens in our spaces, the better. Let me hop back. Okay, this is an interesting one and I'm gonna start talking, I'm gonna leave out an important detail here and I hope that some exclamation points pop up on top of people's heads and a little bit of a, you know, a red flag comes up. This is direct whole room UVC treatment for occupied spaces. Now, of course, the problem with that, as we mentioned before, is that we want to mitigate the amount of time someone is exposed to UVC light to nearly nil or to nil. So how can this be? How can there be a whole room um, UVC light for an occupied space? So this is called 222, far, 222 nanometer far UVC technology. This is a newly emerging uh, technology. This is led by scientists from Columbia University. And the idea here, what they discovered is that this particular band on the electromagnetic spectrum, this particular band of UV light at 222 nanometers doesn't penetrate through the skin, doesn't penetrate into the eyes. Therefore, it doesn't do any harm. Now, over long term, um, a system where you're exposed to this for 8, 10, 12 hours, they haven't done that type of studying, so we're not going to recommend it there. But for places that we're calling pass-throughs, places that people might be in for maximum 30, 60 minutes a day, this is going to provide that best of both worlds, the air treatment and the surface treatment. So this is a beautiful solution for elevators, right? Where you're in for a very brief time, but you want to get pretty strong disinfection between people. This is good for break rooms, hallways, reception areas, common areas, amenity spaces, and apartment complexes. So you can get that type of uh, treatment. So then the next question naturally arises, which is, okay, why did we talk about anything else here? This, this is the stuff right here. Again, few reasons. One, as mentioned, incredibly long-term exposure. There just hasn't been the research for it. Uh, so we're not gonna recommend being exposed in a 24 hour period to let's say um, this for more than like 10 to 12 hours. Um, with 254 nanometers, which is what everything else that we do, they say in a 24 hour period, six um, millijoules is your capacity for the day. So we would more or less recommend the same thing with this technology just to be safe. Number two is that it's not as potent as the 254. So it's nice that you can have it on while people are in the space, but it's not gonna be as quick as the other solutions that we're talking about. And three, it is pricier. Uh, it's newer technology. It requires a different type of technology than the traditional 254. Um, and those systems are more expensive. So this is nice for you know particular applications. Again, elevators have been a, uh, a major application that we've seen a lot of interest for with this technology. And then finally, I know we have a lot of members of school boards here uh, and some municipalities. So this is another very interesting uh, UVC-based application. And it's one that is so, um, so smart. Uh, when we were introduced to this, we were over the moon that this exists. And that's treating public transportation, school buses, uh, you know, citywide buses, subways, um, trains, whatever it might be using air purification supported by UVC. It's exactly what we talked about in our fixtures before, but having that in public transportation. Now, for example, in school buses, you have in your classrooms, everyone's sitting six feet away, right? You have classes staggered, you have things built in a way to mitigate risk, but 
there's only so much you can do in school buses. It's really hard to keep people six feet distance in school buses. It's really hard to have a comprehensive disinfection manually between uh, uses of the bus or of a city bus. So having that type of active disinfection while students or people, you know, members of the community are in public transportation is going to be another critical, critical development uh, utilizing this type of technology. And it's something that's uh, out there and uh, uh, actually quite, uh, quite doable and affordable for these systems. So I'm about to wrap up. Um, as I do, any questions that you have, you can start to put into the Q&A uh, little module here that's built into Zoom. I see that we already have a few questions building up, so please add them there. Uh, we do have a lot of experience working with, uh, with schools. That's been kind of our bread and butter. Uh, and you know, one of the things that we try to do is exceed the expectations of the people that we work with. So when you're working with us, I'm gonna go back almost to the beginning here. You know, when you're working with us, we're going to provide you the proper system for you. And it doesn't matter if you're a school, an office, a town, a city, a restaurant, whoever you are, uh, we are an engineering company. We are a problem solving company. We have our own products, but we're not, you know, let's say committed to them. We want, we're committed to the proper solution. So we'll go make sure that you have the proper UVC solutions for your facility at the proper dosage, at the proper timing. Uh, again, we do have top tier partners. We do have a control system that's unlike anyone else on the market. Uh, design, sales support, customer technical service, you're not left alone. And we do provide comprehensive system training. So your staff members know how to stay safe, how to make their facilities safer, and how to properly use the systems for now and way into the future. Okay. And as I slide through this, perfect. Buying you some good time for the cues, uh, the questions there. Excellent, I see them coming in uh, pretty fast right now. Yeah, so we do have happy clients and we try to keep them that way. Hopefully we can have some more testimonials in the future with uh, some of your names uh, on here and pictures that way. <laughs> 